Hello everyone and welcome to scardia.com. I'm your educator Dr. Ali Imran and this lecture is about neuroimaging part 1. There will be a part 2 of it. Please do watch it too. So, in order to outline this lecture, we will be studying about the impact of neuroimaging in today's world how it is taking over the conventional methods how new inventions new innovations are happening and what they mean for the future and which modalities are still being used which modalities are used in particular uh, situations we learn all of those in this lecture then we learn about the trauma and the different modalities that we used why we use the con non contrast enhanced ct scan why we use mri why we do not use the mri first then the mra then the cta what's the difference between two and why we even use them then the thin section helical ct scanning with multiplanar reconstruction now why we use this particular sequence in certain patients we'll learn about this one then we we'll learn different examples of both the epidural hematoma the uh, other complications of it then we we'll learn about the non-trauma non-traumatic neurological emergency we we'll learn about its different modalities like the MRI, CT scan, CT scan with perfusion study, MRI scan with perfusion study, why do we perform CT scan with perfusion study, why MRI is first here and CT scan is second here. We we'll learn about it all here. Then we'll move on to different um, examples like what is an acute intracerebral hemorrhage what other kind of hemorrhages can happen then we learn about different examples we learn about different complications like the uncle herniation or the subfalcine herniation what are these why do they happen what their importance is then we learn about the 3d volume rendered display why it is important why do we require in our setting and how it is taking place of a certain technique that is used in almost every hospital then we we'll learn about the dwi what is DWI? How it is different from the T1 weighted and the T2 weighted MRI scanning and how it is important. Why even we do it? Then we learn about headache and its different modalities, the CT scan and the MRI and why we only use the unenhanced CT scan and MRI. Then we learn about the unilateral headache, why the unilateral headache happens, what are its most commonest examples and causes. Then we learn about what is a carotid dissection and why it results in a headache. So, so we learn about this and thousands of other lectures on scardia.com from topics such as biochemistry to anatomy to physiology to courses in medicine to courses in surgery to courses in uh, pathology you can find almost anything on this website you can even start your free trial today so please do visit this website and thank you so much for watching scardia.com.